Hi, my name is uh, Vairavan and I work with engineering at Branch and I'm here to demo um, the IDP uh, throughput on an SRX 650 chassis. So I'll just go ahead and show you on the whiteboard what we're planning to do and after that we'll actually show it to you live using the testers. So uh, we basically have an SRX 650 chassis over here and this chassis is fitted with multiple uh, PIMs and we have one PIM in slot two, which is actually a 24 port G PIM. And we have another PIM in slot six, which is a 16 port G PIM. And the basic idea is to pass as much traffic as we can to this box, which goes through IDP and report that number as our best IDP throughput number. And to do this test, uh, actually we use a breaking point Elite tester, and this tester could do stateful traffic. So this is going to be the breaking point testers, and let's call the ports, port 1 on the breaking point tester, port 2 on the breaking point tester, port 3 on the breaking point tester, and port 4 on the breaking point tester. And uh, this is just a visual representation, but this, really these two sections are just one single big box. And we're basically going to have two flows, and one flow is from port 1, and goes all the way, there's a cable straight, Ethernet cable, Cat5 cable here connected, and then it goes out from here all the way here. The second flow is gonna be from port three over here, and then it's gonna port four. If we're gonna do the stateful uh, HTTP 44K file, which is the standard NSS uh, test. Um, so what goes on here is uh, basically the configuration on this box is very simple. We just have, uh, we've defined IP addresses for all these interfaces. All the four interfaces have IP address in different subnets, and there's a simple policy, and uh, the policy says, accept any packet from any zone, any source address, any destination address, any application, and then permit that, but then send that to the IDP engine, and then go through, and then we have an IDP policy for this, and the IDP policy is a standard, uh, recommended Juniper policy and this policy is really a template which you can download from the Juniper website you don't have to sit and configure this and this and all the configuration which is there on the Juniper box uh, which is the SRX 650 box uh, it's the same configuration on an SRX 240 or an SRX 210 or any high-end SRX product too. The breaking point will actually display the aggregate throughput on both interfaces Though we can look at the details for each interface statistics. And, and the biggest idea over here is we should drop zero packets over here. We should have no fail flow. So uh, we could do go well beyond 900 megabits per second. We could do way more than that. But we might drop few. So the, the number we're looking for is get the maximum throughput such that the box does not drop anything. And just to make this better than the standard NSS test, we actually send some real world traffic, uh, some malicious traffic too, which is like ISS traffic or it's a browser exploit traffic and we see that when we run this test all the malicious traffic gets blocked and uh, this is what we're gonna do and I guess we can go to the lab and take a look at the equipment physically and then uh, I can show you the display of what we're gonna do. Hey Scott, so let's get into the lab and take a look at the equipment. chassis uh, on which we're doing the test and we have a 24 port GPM over here and the 16 port GPM and this is running the IDP traffic and the test equipment we're using here is the breaking point elite system and it has uh, we're using one gig blades and that's about it uh, I'm gonna go show you the actual IDP policy that we have on the Juno system uh, it's the IDP recommended policy which we actually just downloaded from the Juno support site and that's the whole policy it's pretty big, but it takes all the critical, minor, and major attacks, and it does some recommended action on it. And I'm just showing you the version, so you can see this is the SRX 650 on which we're running. And let me go ahead and start the test. This is the uh, page on breaking point, and I'm going to start the test now. Takes a little bit, but. So we're ramping up and the important part to see here is the throughput, uh, megabits per second, how many megabits per second we send and we receive. And we also want to keep an eye on the TCP connections, right? 
and we see that we actually establish everything we attempt and we don't drop anything and if we look at these numbers we're going above 900 over here about 913 megabits per second and it's pretty good over here establish an attempt to collect uh, TCP connections and match and actually sending some real world attacks too so let's go look at attacks and the GUI actually shows you how many attacks we block we're not dropping anything we're blocking all the bad traffic and this is back to the summary page and it shows you the bandwidth and this is going to keep going so I think so we're pretty good right here so this is actually the interface tab on the breaking point and we can see the traffic actually is ramping up and this is actually the number of frames we sent per interface so we really need to double this you can see the different colors over there we're sending about 40,000 frames right now so uh, we need to multiply that into uh, into two and then into the packet size which is large packets over here 1500 byte packets and into eight to get the number of bits per second when we calculate that that's about uh, 900 megabits per second so we ramped up and we had steady state and you can see that there's no drops and the graph looks pretty good we're not dropping any traffic and all this is really going through our IDP engine and uh, we're almost done with this so we're just waiting for us to ramp down so from what we have seen um, I actually showed you on the whiteboard what we're gonna do and that's exactly what we did over here we sent IDP we sent um, stateful traffic and we also sent some uh, real-world attacks and we were able to block all the attacks and we were able to do 900 megabits per second of, uh, of IPS and uh, this is on the Genos SRX 650 chassis and this, the config and this, the test methodology will be the same for all other SRX products it's just going to be uh, different numbers based on what product you buy.